what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another Re Rundown on the Keeper Eat YouTube channel. I'm your host today, J. Scott Driss, and with me is no other than the one and only Marcus McCracky. Hey, bud. Or Marcus <laughs> McCarthy. Either or. This is our guy. He's been competing in our Battle Royale series and driving our events for quite a while. We're going to take a little look at his beautiful... Is it... Two-tone S18. <laughs> anyway, Marcus, tell us a little about yourself. How long have you been drifting? How'd you get into it? Been drifting a little while now. Um, probably been over 10 years now, which makes me sound ridiculously old. <laughs> It's my birthday today too, I'm 28. But uh, drifting a long time, and uh, but the competitions I've pretty much done for like five years now. And uh, yeah, running all season in the last two years, keep a reet, which has been uh, really sick, really fun. Last year I had so many problems, but uh, this year we pretty much seem to have ironed that out, and this year has been going bloody damn incredible. Yeah, <laughs> no, he's definitely been saying it. I'll say jumping in up on his door again. Once more, oh, nearly contact. Make some noise. These guys absolutely running that wall. Biggest achievement since you started drifting or most memorable moment? Well, well, probably two. And they're both at Reet Suri events at Festival, which is my favorite track ever. First time we went out there, we got the door pusher award, and the second time we got biggest entry. And those are two of the most fun drives drifting I've ever had. Bloody so, ice. Probably those. Yeah, we definitely did some sick events at oh, Pheasant Wood. Yeah. It'd be good to get back there maybe one day. Maybe one day. Anyway, oh. the car. Oh. Now, this thing is bloody beautiful. In a class of its own. Start on the outside, I guess. Well, the outside is like pretty understated, clean. That's the sort of style I like. So it's got type X skirts, CA lip. Uh, subtle but wide body rears and uh, Type X rear pods. Other than that, she's pretty much, as you go, brick headlight S13. It's got a lot of abuse this year and honestly it looks pretty damn good. I'm very happy with how it looks after all this work, so. Yeah, considering how hard you've been driving it, she's still presenting quite nicely. It's very sleek looking S13. Absolutely bone. Street car. Bone on the ground. <laughs> oh yeah, you gotta have it right. Scrape, that's the only way. Scrape and rail. Oh yeah. All about it, Gary. Obviously, she's powered by God's motor. Pop oh, the so hood. I'm looking at the wrong direction. Powered by God's motor. Better pop the hood, eh? Hey? Pop the hood. Mm. Probably should have cleaned it. <laughs> mm. so it's a uh, forged motor. Uh, built it myself uh, with a mate, Danny. So it's held together really bloody well. So happy with that. We've got a third strike manifold, which sounds bloody amazing and is one of my favourite parts of the car. Oh. I did just drive it here, it's a bit hot. <laughs> it's hot! On fire! Oh, oh that's hot. <laughs> so yeah, G25 550 Pulsar. It's on a Link ECU. Honestly, that's a pretty basic setup. That's about all I've done to it, 35 GDR coils. And yeah, she rips. She runs, um, I only run at about 19 pound most of the time, which is like 270 kilowatt. High boost is about 300, but I haven't really, haven't really found the need to use it, so. What do you mean? You're not running it at full kill. I put it on full kill, and here's the secrets of the trade. It's too much power, you go slower. I know, I know, I'm gonna upset oh, some people here. Too much power. I don't like that. <laughs> yeah, and then so, you go nowhere. Then so blaze. What you're telling me is you yep. turn it down a little bit. So yeah, I turn it down a little bit on a street tire to maximize what we can get out of it. Whereas, like, if it's on a 265 aspect like last year, 300 kilowatt or damage. Interesting. So, Interesting. Uh, so it's noticeably quicker on less power. Yep. Just not blowing the tires off. Yeah. Can't you just control that with your foot, though? No. No. Because then you've got to feather it, which means the weight isn't loaded consistently. Science, bitch! <laughs> if you didn't know, this is the guy that also sets up all our cars and Pretty basically much. the entire field of drifting. So Marcus works at Traction Tires and more Roville. Yep. And he does all the alignments and setup, including the wagon. This yep. man knows what he's doing. But yeah, car setup's pretty good. So we've got Shockworks coilovers. Um, Chris has been a mad help with this car. We've done a lot of changes throughout the years and gotten this car to feel exactly how I want. Cut and shut knuckles just by a mate of mine, Elijah. Um, Working pretty well now. Have and you made many renditions to the cotton shots? Yeah, this is like rendition six. Six? Probably would have been easier just to buy a pair of knuckles, but I'm cheap. <laughs> <laughs> it's on a budget, all right? So, um, yeah, everything that we can do to save money is pretty much Do you much still want to go done. to an aftermarket knuckle or do you like the cotton shots? <laughs> Honestly, I like it. That does, yeah. does what I want to. If yeah. someone wants to sponsor me some knuckles, I'd throw them in there, but they're doing the job. Ackerman? It's got some. <laughs> Don't know. Actually, the Ackerman's so not zero. No, the Ackerman's completely wrong on these knuckles, but we'll ignore that because it works and I'm compensated for it. <laughs> yeah. 
I can't bother changing them again. It feels all right. So it's just simple. But it's pretty works. simple, yep. So the rear end's got drift works, drop knuckles, just because we're way, way, way too low to really work properly where they are. Honestly, even when we're that below with the drift works knuckles, my arms are still pointing to the moon. So yeah, drift works knuckles in the back, and then just a basic camber toe traction arms in the back and cast arms in the front. It's all pretty simple, but it works bloody well. Gearbox? Gearbox. Gearbox. Have you got one? Yeah, there's one there. There's a few gears. It's an interesting one. It's actually an AR5. My <laughs> shifter is in a pretty odd switch spot. It's a Mitsubishi Triton gearbox, um, which it's the only one behind an SR. I made a mine, Travis, from a late manufacturing, made up the adapter plate, and pretty much every bit of it is custom, which was a lot of work. But they are cheap gearboxes and they're bulletproof. What year Triton? Like 2008. Interesting. What motor are they behind? The 2.5 diesel two-wheel drive. A little bit of torque, I guess. But yeah, yeah. There's no SR torque. But yeah, she's holding she, up. She's holding up to that powerhouse under the hood there. <laughs> so yeah, but I mean a few people have had them behind like 400 kilowatt plus drift cars on yeah. aspects and I'm pretty done sure well. at our last competition around Battle Royale, you came up against Jason and Jason was complaining because the SR talk, the car talk <laughs> yeah. from the line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was sleeping at the line, yeah, man. Yeah, can't keep up. No, no can't six keep up with no SR. Yeah. All right, we'll jump in the cockpit. We'll suss out what's going on in yeah, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Walk us through your office. Well, I should walk you guys through. The, obviously, oh, the car oh. gets looked after by Mini's paint and panel. So, it does get freshened up quite regularly. I have to do a huge shout out to them. If it wasn't for them, my car would look nowhere near as nice as it does at the moment, or at any or any stage. They missed a spot. No, 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 no. That's, that's the character spot. <laughs> yeah. You can't get rid of that, mate. There's nah. like four or five different walls on there. And Mini's paint panels are some good guys. They've been looking after drifters for a while now. Definitely, definitely. Shout and you can't out. forget, Martini Racing, mate. That's right, why we'll the... get there, we'll get, All right, there. We'll get there. Show us the I'm office. taking over the interview! Show us the office! <laughs> what? I have a message to bring you. Our AU100 has officially sold out. You guys must be loving our new hoodies. Now, if you want to get onto our Drift Club hoodie here, you got to get in quick because they're selling out quick. Get down to keeperate.com and buy yourself one. Alright, cool. How you doing? That was intimate. <laughs> All right, we are in the office. Oh yeah. Run us through it. What do we got? We got a, we got a nice looking full cage. We do have a it hectic, does look good. hectic cage. Um, Safety's first. Definitely. Especially because, you know, when we crash, we don't crash more. You know this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't need to get into nah, it. Nah. Got velo seats, passenger and driver for the safety and the harnesses. Got to have the naughty wheel. Still got carpet. Which Still got carpet. I'm a big fan of, and my muddy boots are ruining it. But, um, <laughs> yeah, big fan of carpet and drift cars. Adds to that comfortability. Yes. Well, when I got it, it was actually pretty much stripped That's out weird. completely. Um, and I like streetcar vibes, and yeah. it's registered. So, yeah, I, had to put I the interior am, back in it and make it as tidy as we could. I am all about it. Here we see the uh, yeah the interesting interesting shifter. Everyone's like, how does it feel? But I don't notice it at all. So <laughs> bang gears and yeah. hold it flat, mate. That's it. Link ECU looks yeah, mounted, it's mounted securely. very securely. Don't worry, Grubby Twenty One Fab is going on Monday after four years. I'm gonna mount that ECU. Ooh, mm. shit! I know, I know. Does yeah. the stereo work? Yeah, fucking a. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah, it does. Taco works. That's All about the it. Essentials. I have no gauges other than a taco and the factory water temp gauge. And that's, What's up there? That's a boost gauge. Doesn't work. Cool. Good. All about it. You don't need gauges. No, you don't need gauges, SR, mate. Exactly. Nothing ever goes wrong. Reliable as hell. Reliable. Yeah. Revs to 8,500 RPM, mate. All right. That's it for an hit. Yeah. All right, so that's that's the basic rundown of your car. Yep. Back onto the subject of Marcus McCarthy. Yeah. What, what keeps you driven? What keeps you on track? Because we all know how much work it is. So Honestly, what's your motivation? Just the funnest thing I've ever done, and it is um, when I feel in the zone, and I just want to push the limits, basically, of everything that is possible in a car. So yeah, I just non-stop pushing limits and. Uh, it's working out pretty well. A few crashes to start off with and you get comfortable with it. So I just want to, yeah, keep pushing the envelope and see how far we can go. Especially in as basic of a car as it is, I really, yeah. yeah. Going up against the big dogs, everyone's like, oh, you need this, this and that. And I'm like, hell no, let's get, we'll see. We put up a good fight. It's all so about driving I'm, I'm proud of my car. Most fun <laughs> you can have with your pants on. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so we're at our Friday night drift soak. Mark is going to be laying it down. We're going to get some epic shots with Hell Jai, yeah. Mungie Meteors, Chase Camp. We'll yeah. see what this car all, all right. is all it's about. Turned on the weather today after a bucketing down. So yeah. I'm keen, keen. We'll see what you're made of. Yeah, can't drive it. it too hard today. I've, you know, 
Go drive it home. No, that's <laughs> <laughs> Did you drive it here? Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, anyone you want to thank? Sponsors, friends? Yeah, look, biggest sponsor by far is Martini Racing. Uh, they've been on board for the last couple of years. They have helped me out heaps and have always been supportive. So, huge shout out to them. Minis paint and panel, obviously. Uh, Elite Manufacturing for the gearbox. Uh, probably forgetting people. Traction tires, of course. Can't forget to thank them. I'm taken up pretty much the hoist permanently for the last two years. The car just lives there now. And thanks to everyone that's uh, helped me along the way. I've had heaps of mates that have always like, yeah, put in work a lot of the times at ridiculous hours at ridiculous, just doing stupid things. That That's what we love. So yeah, thanks to everyone that's helped me get here. Bloody I'm keen to finish off the season strong. Yeah, yeah. Where are you sitting in the championship at the minute? Leading, mate. Oh! I and think championship <laughs> lead up yeah. one o more over, round. Over Farron, I'm pretty sure. Who's who's second? Who's coming sure, up on I'm you? I'm pretty sure it's Farron. Farron, yeah, yeah, probably is. Yeah. Will Marcus take the crown? There's one more round of our Battle Royale series. You can check it out. We live stream it on our YouTube channel, or you can come down to Calder Park and see it for yourself. But that's it. Thanks for walking us through Hell the yeah. Epic S13. And um, yeah, let's cut to some gangs and shots. Marcus did some skids. I did. If you haven't seen Marcus do skids before, then you're living under a rock. <laughs> Watch out, Battle Royale. How'd you go tonight, mate? Pretty damn good, mate. Uh, yeah, got some sets off. Got on SRs on oh, song, mate. Yeah. I didn't bring enough tires. That was a problem. <laughs> Throw them in rocker arms. That's what we're doing. No rocker arms here, mate. No curse in the rocker arms. <laughs> she loves it. Yeah, not we, bad. No, we blazed some tents. We threw some backies. We got on doors. It was a good night. <laughs> anyway, thanks for uh, coming to our event, doing some skis, doing yeah, what you do best. Damn thanks great. to all of you for tuning in. Hope you enjoy it. Go follow Marcus on yeah. Instagram at Backy yeah. McCracky. Only the YouTubes, mate. The whole 300 followers. His actual tag will be here. And his YouTube. He's got a YouTube channel yeah. that he uploads absolutely and bugger all. On. Yeah, correct. Every six months, I'll get a video out. So Just go check it out. Go. Links in the description <laughs> or on the screen. And uh, let us know what you want to see rerun down. That's the word now. That, that is now the word you've made it. Next time. Pew!